Hello everybody, it's the old captain here. Let me create serenity and peace and calm, at least in one component and aspect of your life. And that is this uh, fat acceptance movement. Now, uh, most of you men, and rightly so, get pissed off when you have uh, the fat acceptance movement being shoved down your throat by the media, by feminists and stuff like this. And the most recent one is this Ashley Graham gal. I had to look her up, the, the one that they got uh, on the Sports Illustrated. And then it calls tumult and chaos a controversy and all that. And I want to explain to you what's really going on and why you don't have to worry and why it, it, it shouldn't even get a rise out of you and why you should relax. And I understand somebody telling you what you should like or uh, berating you or um, shaming you or lecturing you about how dare you like that and you're shallow and all that. Not only is it accusatory and insulting, they're tyrants. They're fucking Nazis trying to tell you what you should and should not like. Um, so I understand that. That angers you. But but let's, let's kind of see what's going on underneath, behind the scenes, and, and take a little bit of a different view of this. And see why you could just you could just dismiss them like a three-year-old child because that's <clears throat> kind of what you're dealing with. Number one, this plus-size model thing. You've got to understand, this is not for you, boys. This is not like, you better like this. And I mean, I know there are some people that say, you better like this and you're shallow if you don't. And there's nothing wrong with a little bit of... It's not for you. It's for women. Okay? These guys, they want women to... Do you notice how much shit women buy? Do you notice how the Keynesians over at the government economist offices still think that it's consumer spending that's going to save the economy? Right? Uh, you know how many corporations make trillions of dollars a year off of crap women buy? I mean, seriously, you get a pie chart, there's like a sliver of like, you know, military, food, clothing, shelter, and the rest of it, it's like a Pac-Man. Shit that women buy. Right? Now, a lot of that, if you take the Pac-Man, about a good quarter, you know, third of the whole gross domestic product is uh, clothes and shit. Clothes and shit. It's there. It's on the Bureau of Economic Analysis website. No, the NIP icon. I'm kidding. It's not that. They spend money, guys. And that's all this is. Oh, you're beautiful. You do whatever. Because, frankly, Jenny Craig and all these other dieting things and the dieting fat have failed. And this is just the newest and quite more uh, one of the more intelligent uh, ways for companies to make money. And that's all this is. They say, well, why is Sports Illustrated doing it? I have no fucking clue. Go ask Sports Illustrated. They're trying to get some, I mean, uh, Playboy and, uh, not Playboy, um, the internet has come along. I, when's the last time I looked at a Sports Illustrated? Shit, that was the 80s. And if they can make a couple million bucks getting fat, you know, uh, feminist women to buy Sports Illustrated, fine, let them. Let them. But by and large, this, this, this push for plus-size models and big is beautiful and all that other crap, it has nothing to do with you guys or your sexuality. It has to do with selling women more shit. And when women get it in their heads that big is beautiful and it's all right and we saw it and we're going to buy because I am beautiful. What was the gal? Did it in my podcast. The woman that married herself. I don't have to look it up. There's some gal who was a kindergarten teacher in Saudi Arabia and she was 40 and she couldn't find um, a husband and promised by the age of 40 she'd marry herself and she says you're just fabulous you're beautiful the way you are it, it is a delusion and companies and fashion industry and psychology industry and drug every industry is capitalizing on what is nothing more than a delusion okay so try ignore that part now the next part where women actually, you know, you should be ashamed, you should be, uh, how dare you, you're shallow, how dare you like what you like, and again, I understand, you get very enraged, don't fucking tell me what I'm gonna like, sweetheart. I mean, that's Nazi shit, that is Nazi shit, that is communist shit, that is dictatorial Nazi communist shit. Not gonna happen. Well, here's why you don't have to worry about it. The free market will take care of it. The Sports Illustrated thing is a perfect example. You think any guy's going to go buy Sports Illustrated? Right? We still have a free market here. And, and not to mention, if it ever got to the point when women start saying, well, you have to start sleeping with fat women, that's when the guns come out and people start dying. Because it, the, the, then we need a war. But since that is not, we're nowhere near that point, uh, part B, you don't have to buy. 
You don't have to buy a, a Sports Illustrated. You don't have to buy, if Playboy ever were to come out with a plus size model, you don't have to buy it. If, if uh, any kind of guy servicing, um, uh, you know, a beauty mag, uh, it could be porn, it could be Playboy, it could be like Maxim. If they started saying like, you know, ages could be another variable. Like, well, you're shallow for not liking 65 year old women. You know what would happen to them if they started showing wrinkly ass, pruny boobed women? in Maxim or Playboy, no one would buy it. So what you have to realize is that the free market it, 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 the free market is you. You will determine whether or not you buy it or not. The same thing with the video games. If I have to, if, really, if I have movies, same thing. If I have to hear of, um, what was the, Agent Carter. <laughs> Roundhouse Kicking Chick Cop Show, look it up. You don't have to watch it. You don't have to watch these things. You don't have to spend your money on them. Now, I'm, I'm kind of expanding into movies and other things but getting back to beauty standards of what men are going to like your money will go to where the beauties are you will and not only in playboy or maxim or uh, sports illustrated but who you ask out who you take on dates who you pay attention to it is the free market and that is not going away because you still have free choice so what you got to realize is, is this fat acceptance thing and, and body positive and these girls going, going on slut walks and banging their drums and, and uh, how dare you and they take the lecturing tone. You've got to understand these are just psychologically demented people. They have a problem. Right? There's something wrong with them. And it, they are, well, they're delusional and that's the thing is they, they're going to live their lives in a non-real world. No guy is going to hit on them. And, and, and don't give me the fuck, oh, I know some chubby chases. Yeah, I know a tall Asian. You know, well, I know, I know, a, a, no, I know a, a thin Samoan. <laughs> okay, I know, I know some people like the chubby chase. And don't give me this fucking bullshit. Well, back in 1880, women that was sexy back in. Not now. <clears throat> anyway, realize what you're dealing with, and that is demented, delusional people. And they're lying to themselves, and you can simply ignore them. They're not going to win. They're never going to override biology. They're never, that is the most powerful force in humanity, is sexual uh, desire. It's not going away. You are not, they're not going to get you to start finding fat chicks attractive. So, you know, in one regard, be happy. They are wasting so much time and resources, not to mention uh, going down a deluded path in life that is sure to be filled with psychological torment and ruin. Because you can't live in, a, in the non-real world. You, you, just be happy they're wasting their time. So ignore it. Don't get riled up. I mean, make fun of it. Ha <laughs> ha, learn the latest. You know. But don't get angry when they start telling you that you got to start dating you know, ugly chicks or fat chicks or old chicks. Then the guns can come out. In the meantime, they're just spinning the wheels. They're doing it for their own deluded psychological, mental, bad shit, insane, uh, insaneness. Just relax. Take it easy. Take your girlfriend, ask out a hot chick, pick up the latest Playboy, you know, don't, don't worry, it's all right. You know, just don't get upset, that's all I'm trying to just, just, that's, that's one less thing you don't have to worry about, and the revenge that comes in is knowing that these people are, I'm not saying it to make you feel better, I'm not. Look at these people who are body positive. They're nuts, they're psycho, they have mental problems, they're lazy, they don't know, they have no self-control, they have no discipline. So, just enjoy, go out with a cute girl, you know, have have your girl wear a skirt in the heels. There are girls out there that like being women. Just go find them and parade them in front of these fat sows. That's all we got. Toodles.